bathroom right here. It should be there. Yes. See, what's up? I'm going to send you the, this unit to send it to your master. Just send it to the master. You should be sent to me. You should be sent to me. Um, the collection is not private. It's all a good sign. So why is it giving an RM? Party empty. I don't know. Why not a minute? Don't send it, send it, wait. It's a party. Let's go. Now we have Ms. Anisha Mathias from the Department of Mathematics to introduce today's chief guest. Very good morning to all the dignitaries present here. Chief Guest of the Day, Dr. Raghavendra A, Beloved Principal, Reverend Dr. Praveen Mantis, faculty members and all the students present here. It gives me a great pleasure to introduce the Chief Guest of today, Dr. Raghavendra A. Dr. Raghavendra is an Associate Professor in the Department of Mathematics and also the Principal of Poona Prajna College and Postgraduate Center, Udupi. He has been working in the college since 2000 and was also the head of the Department of Mathematics for almost 18 years. Before working at Poona Prajna College, he was an assistant professor at St. Aloysius College, Megaluru. He completed his MSc from Mangalore University in 1986 and MPhil from Mangalore University in 1988. He completed his PhD in 2016 from Dravidian University. His areas of interest include number theory and graph theory. And he has expertise in preparing question papers for competitive exams. He has many research publications and attended as well as presented in many international as well as national conferences. He has worked on a minor project from 2012 to 2015 on the topic Distance Sets and Graphs, sponsored by UGC. He is also a life member of Ramanujan Mathematical Society and ADVA. We are very grateful to have Dr. Raghavendra here today and marking his presence on the stage. Thank you, sir. We welcome you. Thank you, ma'am. We are honored to have Dr. Raghavendra A. amongst us as a chief guest. I kindly request Dr. Raghavendra to speak a few words and encourage the participants.
uh, one more great thing to share. I was an, I am an alumnus of St. Dovisius College and I am principal at Pudnapitna College. Father Marty is, is an alumnus of Pudnapitna College and he is the principal here. What a great swap. And we were just sharing a few things. Uh, it was a very lovely moment for us, both of us. So I am inviting officially to attend our alumnus meeting during NAC year team visit, scheduled for 29th of September this year. Students, the day for mathematics today, this competition uh, creates awareness, inspires, brings out talents in you. There will be several influences in your life while you are choosing your career. Most of you may be dreaming for good colleges, engineering or medicine. So today, I am standing here with the two different jobs. One, to give a lecture, as an endowment lecture in memory of Professor Krishnamurti, who was head of the department. When we study PUC, like you, doing now, his textbook, was described throughout the state and uh, most of the theories what even now the textbooks they follow the sequences the sequence of problems they were all originally given by professor Krishna. and you can't imagine he had such a huge uh, huge students who have created this endowment not only in Navashas College, even in MGM College, Udupi, every year there is an endowment prize given to the top scorer in BSc Mathematics throughout Mangalore University. The top scorer throughout Mangalore University, the top scorer in BSc Mathematics, there is a prize money endowed in his name. So that was his greatness. His disciples are spread around. So on in this memory, this endowment lecture is arranged. So I'll be speaking a few things in this. And second part is to tell you about what are other things you can think of other than your usual engineering and medical. So there is a lot of avenues now. Now the uh, Government of India has introduced new education policy which gives free hand for educational institutions like St. Aloysius College who are soon going to become university. The policy of India allows to bring opportunities, create opportunities for students like you who can together fulfill fulfill your ambition, also your professional goals. In the sense, if you are good in music, you can continue in that field and also you can become a scientist. So this is the main theme of uh, new education policy, okay, where your personal likes, likings, also professional likings, both can be met. And certainly, the universities, private universities, who will be very uh, dynamic in this aspect, uh, will be certainly seizing these opportunities. So in future maybe when you get into profession next five years, after five years, you will see the see change in this direction. Therefore, you, even now you can think of think of doing other courses other than your engineering or 
uh, medical, that's their traditional courses nowadays. And competitions like this, they will let you know your real talents in mathematics. That will inspire you, encourage you, even if you move to maybe other fields, you may become a very good CEO, but mathematics can be your passion. Mathematics as such can become a hobby for many of you. So think in this direction, participate sportively and encourage others to participate. And I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now request our beloved principal to address the gathering and enlighten us with his words of wisdom. Respected Dr. Raghavendra, the principal and the associate professor in mathematics, Purna Prajna College, Udupi, and the chief guest of today's important Mass Fiesta 2022, Dr. Arvind Desa, the registrar, Reverend Father Vincent Pinto, the finance officer, Ms. Priya Montero, the HOD of mathematics department, Mr. Rahul, the student coordinator, my dear members of the faculty, Reverend Father Leoni Souza, Dr. Narayan Bhatt, the director, and my dear students and the participants. First of all, I wish all my teachers a very happy Teachers' Day. I am always grateful to my teachers and so happened. I was in Bangalore at St. Joseph's College as principal. When I was a principal, about 14 of my teachers were there with me. And when I came here, still there are my teachers in this college. I am the principal of this college. I become so humble. They are all there and I learn from them and uh, they taught me. And being a teacher is such a wonderful, noble vocation that I feel. The teachers are the ones who inspire. Today we are celebrating Mass Fiesta. I was talking to Dr. Raghavendra. We have swapped places. He said, Yes, I've got beautiful memories of Purna Prajna College, our teachers that I was sharing with him, and what we learned from our teachers from our childhood. I had a special love and affection for mathematics and wonderful teachers. I keep saying it's not the subject, it's the teacher. Teacher makes you love the subject. And I still remember recently after about 35 years, our 10th standard students passed out from Kannada medium, we all met together. And they reminded me immediately, you are the one who got in the 6th standard one medal for mathematics. But they remember, I still remember fondly, that my teachers in the 6th standard, they asked us one puzzle and gave us about 10 days to solve it. And whole 10 days, my mind was working only in that direction. And they gave us a pen as a prize and the teacher is no more at this moment. A teacher's son was my classmate, he reminds me always. And I got the prize. On the eighth day or something I solved the puzzle and everyone was amazed and I myself was amazed. I was continuously working on it. And that's how the love for mathematics and a very good teachers in high school and love for it. And later on the love changed in Purna Prajna College. I had Mass good teachers, but they also had wonderful chemistry professors there. Uh, Professor Soma and you know, we were remembering and uh, they made a true impact and that's how I shifted my whole field to chemistry. From mass to chemistry, but then they're all related fields. Uh, today when we are celebrating Mass Fiesta, we must remember our own teacher here, Professor Krishnamurthy, already Dr. Raghavendra beautifully explained he taught him when I came here for, I did myself few years studies in Purna Prajna, few years here. Uh, alumnus of both the places. The lucky person who had chances of studying in both the colleges. And that's how I came, when I came here already he had retired. And Professor Krishnamurthy, as you all know, was a legend. Iconic figure in mathematics. We are organizing this fest today. It's for the youngsters, the BU students, for you to understand uh, how these basic sciences are so very important today. You all would like to get into engineering field or medical or any other professional field. My humble request to all of you to 
continue with your basic science is very quiet. Great scientists. If everyone goes into applied field, who will then take forward great legend of this kind of professors? We need to do that. We can go back to about 400 years and see the great scientists there, the mathematicians. I remember a, a true incident which happened in August 1648. There was a great English mathematician, Edmund Halley. He had a problem to understand. He was an astronomer too, physicist, because those days there were no boundaries like today. The boundaries came later on, and these boundaries are going away now again. We cannot work, NEP takes away all these boundaries and comes back to multidisciplinary. At that time, he goes to Newton, Isaac Newton, and he asks him a question. Since he had a difficulty to understand the movement of the planet, he says, what type of a curve does a planet make in its own orbit around the sun? And immediately, Isaac Newton had an answer. He said, it is an ellipse. Edmund Halley thought for such a long time and he did not have an answer to it. And he was wondering how Isaac Newton had an answer already. He asked him a question, how do you know so fast you could respond and say it's an ellipse? He says, I've been also calculating it also. But then I mislaid that calculation. I need to sharpen it. And it took two more years to sharpen that. He came up with this epic called Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica. You can read that book, it's all in Latin. Okay, we don't understand that, but then you can go back to those days. It's almost 308 years backwards. And you can see the marvels that was done by these scientists. That's why we require youngsters like you to continue to work in that field of science and mathematics. See, today in the field of chemistry, I value mathematics beyond any other subject. Why? Because it's kind of a philosophy. It's a theory which takes us forward than the practical subjects. It's, though I'm in the field of chemistry, but I always feel that because mathematics laid the foundation of whole philosophy, whole sciences. I take philosophy of science to some students in some places and I tell them about the value of mathematics which came today we are able to see the atoms. Not in Mangalore, not in Bangalore, in some of the uh, very important labs in the United States of America, in Berkeley and all that. There are instruments to see the atoms today. Years after that, about after 2000, 3000 years after proposing the atom, we are able to see now. That means the precision of mathematicians to tell that the atoms, the way they exist, the orbits, the orbitals, all the concepts came not from the uh, other sciences, it all came from the mathematicians. Now we are going back to it, now we are able to see it with the instruments. But then that concept was given to us mathematically to take forward and that's how we could explore into space, we could explore everywhere. It's all because of the foundation that is laid strongly by the mathematicians or then there were no boundaries. They were all together. Today we need to take away all these boundaries and move forward and say that we need to do something. And we have a great Indian mathematician, Sri Ramarajan, very young age. Yes, by 32 I think he passed away. But by then the amount of work that they had done is, cannot be unraveled. Even today the scientists are finding it difficult, mathematicians are finding it difficult, the equations that he has drawn up. And that's the brain, that's the genius of this mind being an Indian. So we also today when we celebrate this mathematics fest, mass fiesta, they use the Spain, Spanish word and celebrating it in uh, Mangalore here at St. Elvish's College. I'm sure you're all excited with the puzzles, the riddles, the problems that are coming up here today to solve so that you've got a passion for maths. You build up that passion and continue to do your studies in undergraduate, postgraduate and then go on to do your research. We need researchers today. If you get into applied field, you will not get that taste of doing a research like the scientists do research in this field. So my humble request to the students who are really into research, would like to do something different, are excited with these great scientists, get into the field of basic sciences. St. Elvish's College has got excellent faculty here, very good facilities. We are also linked with many, many colleges around and collaborations here and abroad. So you can get into this field and really understand the excitement of mathematics and contribute in the field of mathematics. This is my humble request to all the youngsters 
who want to do their further studies think about it, think differently, so that we can make a difference in this world. I would like to thank the chief guests of today. Dr. Raghavendra is an alumnus of St. Elvishus College and worked so much in the field of mathematics, contributed and availed his time for us. Thank you so much. Thank the Department of Mathematics in honor of uh, Professor Krishnamurti, their own senior who worked here in this institution as a legend and they organized this fest for us. I would like to thank the HOD and all the members of the faculty and also the students for organizing it beautifully. I wish all the participants all the best. Have an exciting day today and tomorrow. Enjoy and continue to contribute to the field of mathematics. God bless. Thank you, Father, for your thought-provoking words. As we have come to an end of this inauguration ceremony, I kindly appeal Rahul to propose the vote of thanks. Good morning, all. I take immense joy to get the privilege of proposing the vote of thanks for the inauguration ceremony. I extend heartfelt gratitude to our today's chief guest as well as the speaker of today's function, Dr. Raghavendra A. Thank you, sir, for your valuable time invested here with us today. I also thank the president of today's function, our own beloved principal, Reverend Dr. Praveen Martis SJ, for the overall aid and advices. I take immense pleasure to thank Reverend Father Vincent Pinto, SJ, for making time beyond his schedule to be with us here today. Thank you, Father. I also thank the COE of our college, Dr. Alvin Desa, directors and deans of various blocks, various heads of the departments for being here today. Last but not the least, I thank all the faculties, staffs, students and participants who have come here from various colleges with great enthusiasm and excitement. You all are the stars of Math Fiesta. Hope we all have an amazing learning experience ahead. Thank you all once again. Thank you. Thank you, Rahul. I kindly request Math Fia to lead the guests to the front row. As we are done with the inauguration ceremony, I remember I once had an argument with 90 degrees and it turns out it was right. Now it's time for the commencement of the seminar on the topic, Importance of Ramanujanan's work in modern science. I request today's chief guest to take, to take over. Thank you. Okay, play, 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 no, play, no, play, no. Wait, wait, wait. Now click. Why is it not coming? You took the refresher. Take the freeze one. What I have said, the first one, no? Present it now. Wait, wait, wait. We present, wait. One okay. second, literally, wait. We have to play one ad. Not playing, huh? Yeah. Sir, tell sir to wait for five minutes. Yeah, I told you. Where is Clive? Where is Clive? What happened? 
He cleared the chair. They could have played things. He's at. Yeah, they are doing it now. Tell sir to wait for five minutes. Uh, Windows plus P. Where is Clive? Windows plus P. Okay, play. Listen, PPT ready, Malpana. Let it be fine.
Uh, that is the only number, the smallest number we have which can be written as a sum of cubes in two different ways. So every number, every number was a book for Ramanujan. He would be, he was able to think of that number in different directions. He was, as uh, rightly said, an equation for me, he says, nothing but what is God is telling us. That was his way. And even his work, when he was telling, it is due to Goddess at the, my native Nanda. She was coming and telling me in my dream. So many thought that, like when he says, many of us would think that okay, he was, uh, all of a sudden it was uh, flashing him in his uh, dreams. I say it's humbleness. It's okay. It's a humbleness. You go and ask something when you are not able to explain. What will you say? You are not able to explain, but you know that it is true. What will you explain? How will you explain? So, so this was the thinking of Ramanuja. He was imagining those numbers in different aspects. So this is what I said. In physics, uh, there is a branch of uh, mathematics, conformal field the theory. Then uh, BPS states, recent uh, developments in physics, they are all explained through mock theta function of Ramanujan. All of you might have heard about the movie, Man Who Saw Infinity. Robert Kanigal actually wrote a book, a big volume, uh, worth reading. Okay. Uh, bit by bit, he has come to India and gone through his native villages where he was uh, roaming around, moving around and he has recorded each instant of his life and he has collected all things related to Ramanujan and he says what Hadi said about Ramanujan. Hadi was a mentor to Ramanujan but he had a very high place for Ramanujan. He says, he himself assigned in a scale of 100, if I am 25 marks at 25 marks, little good Hilbert, they were the greatest mathematicians of his era. So he was giving them 30 and uh, uh, David Hilbert, in his name we have mathematics by name Hilbert's space. Uh, he has assigned 80 and he gives 100 to Ramanujan. The physicist at the present age, if you Google the name, is a American original from Japan, uh, Kaku. Uh, you get a lot of uh, videos, YouTube videos. Beautiful explanation of uh, physics. See, some of the formulae, what Ramanujan has said, Jia Chadi says, they must be true because otherwise no one would have dared to imagine that. Imagine those equations. See, this is the respect he was telling. If Ramanujan says something, it is true okay. because he has imagined that and Hani is not able to give any proof for us. Even now many of his work have not found their proofs. Uh, the volume of his work was recently discovered by Professor Andrew from the same institute where Ramanujan was a fellow. These were the giants in mathematics in 
before Ramanujan. Okay. Euler, Gauss, and Jacobi. The European mathematics in those days they are working on the works of these three giants. Then comes Ramanujan. Yeah, this is about his birth. He was born in the year 1887, December 22nd, in Erode, small town then. His father was an employee at one clothes shop and the mother was an influential person. She was looking after every aspect in the family. So he had normal high school life. When he was in high school, so he got a book. Okay? This is a, this was a, this is about his mother, Komala Tamal. So this is what people say now. Uh, she was singing songs, several thousands of stanzas without any book. She was able to recite. So that was the ability of her, her brain and practice. Maybe Ramanujan inherited that. Uh, this is a few things about his personal uh, life. Yeah. This is how he was active in his high school days. But teacher wanted, many a times it happens. See, we cannot, as I said, many a times, so many uh, things when we can't explain properly, we try to give examples. But to be many times these examples fail to meet the actual cause. The teacher was describing small children how to divide. Okay. You have got six things, you have to give it to three of them. What will you do? How many each will get? So he was just trying to explain what do you mean by division. Six by three is two. So the small boy Ramajan asked, if I have nothing, and I don't have to give anyone anything. How much each one will get? Now you will think that he is a very notorious student in the class. Okay, you ask, ask him to meet me after the class. But see, the verse is thinking. So the thinking, what you say, out of box. So this has actually has happened. Uh, that is why uh, we may find in. Uh, where some of positive numbers they show equal to negative number and say this is what Ramanujan said. Uh, it's not Ramanujan said. But the work they have created just like uh, complex numbers, they are not real numbers. Okay? They are not real numbers, they don't exist. But we are imagining, we are working out with them. But they are used in electronics. In electronics most of the theories are developed using complex numbers. So similarly, Ramanujan thought of those numbers nearing to infinity, very big numbers, how they tend to infinity, this is why he is called, who saw infinity. How different sequences can reach, see 1, 2, 3, 4, go to infinity. What about 1, 5, 9, jumping faster, they go to same. Who will be reaching first? You can't say anything now. So like that. The geometric progression you learn in standard PUC, I mean PUC, 1, 2, 4, 8, they move faster than arithmetic progression. Both will reach infinity. So what happens then? So these were the things what Ramanujan was thinking at his high school. And there is, that is where he has developed a lot of equations. As many as 4000 equations, results, he has provided to modern mathematics. Another thing which is quite commonly being circulated as a ma magic square. Uh, he has, he, this was a child's play for him when he was in high school. Next one. Yeah, this book, a turning point in Ramanujan's life. A synopsis of elementary results in pure and applied mathematics about 1300 and odd uh, 
uh, problems were there. It was a book in those days prescribed in European countries to just like your CET textbook. Uh, with a lot of questions uh, to judge your aptitude, how well you are to grade you to which level. So he got hold of that book and he started working out. And this is the one was his CV. You can say passport. When he wanted to show what he is, he was just showing his book. So this is what I have done. Because he did not have formal degree. He failed in being. So after SSC, he did not have any degree here. He wanted a job to look after his family. He got married by then. He had to look after his family. He wanted a job. So he moved around and he was showing, see this is what I am good at. This was recognized by one of uh, an officer who had passion for money. Yeah, some pages are missing. This is about that book. Okay, uh, you don't find the, the number is up to four thousand eight hundred sixty-five because they are, what they have done is uh, they have missed out. Uh, like in page they write, just like in floors we uh, write the room numbers. Okay, hundred and one, hundred and two hundred and ten. That goes two hundred and one, two hundred and two hundred. Like that, that uh, those problems were arranged in the in that book. This was his wife, who lived quite long after his uh, death. And she lived and she preserved the two vessels what she was feeding Ramanujan when he was ill. It's the next one. Yeah, this is one Professor Ramaswamy. Officer, but his passion was for mathematics. He founded Indian Mathematical Society. So he got hold of this, uh, the work of Ramanujan. Okay. There was one more person who introduced Ramanujan to this uh, uh, Ramaswamy Iyer. Yeah, that was Sheshu Iyer. So this is where first Sheshu Iyer and then uh, uh, Ramaswamy Iyer. Ramaswamy Iyer was an officer, so he was able to correspond with the, the British government then. And they searched for the person who can recognize his work. And this, his work was reached to Hardy. Okay, Ramanujan himself wrote a letter in those days. He was confident about, about his work. He wrote a letter. He was telling about integration, saying that this is a, what you have said, but this is also like this. This was his first letter to Raman uh, Adi. So Ramachandra Rao felt that Ramanujan must be nourished in the field of mathematics. So this is about his one. Ramanujan, okay, step by step, elliptical integrations. Okay. Uh, then hypergeometric series he was then just in second maybe his age was 15 to 16 when he was talking uh, working about this and they gave him a work job it was 20 rupees per month as a stipend it was a good amount in those days so next one he see, communicates his work in uh, general of Indian Mathematical Society in the form of question answers. That was his first publication. It was in Indian Journal. The next one. Yeah. This is the Ramanujan's first letter to Hardy. See, there he says that integration, this is true only for positive. See, 
the results were given initially for positive integers. Then we extend it for negative integers. Later we extend it for all real numbers. This is usually. But when it extends like your binomial theorem, you study in PUC binomial theorem, we prove it for only positive integers. Even when n is a negative, n is a fraction, the same thing can be continued with a small modification. So this is what Ramanujan said. Your result for positive integers, I can extend it for all numbers. He wrote to Rahadi. This is what Hardy writes back to Ramanujan that was in 1930. Next one. So this is the typed version of the letter. So he identifies three types of work. He has also attached his work along with the letter. So he distinguishes them three types. Uh, there are number of results, this is very important, so as a mentor, this is where we call him as a mentor. He says, uh, there are number of results which are already known, okay, which are easily deducible from known theorems, but they were not known to Ramanujan then. Okay, it was there in the rock then. Uh, there are results which are so far I know are very interesting, uh, interesting from the point of, uh, they are uh, very from their curiosity and difficult. Okay. Some of the work what you have done are very interesting, curious. I know them, th those results. There are results which appear to be new and important, but in which almost everything depends on the precise rigor of mathematics of proof. Do, we have, do you have proof for these results what you have uh, predicted? So he has sent the results. So we identify them as a simple, already known results. Some of the results, very difficult results, but already some of us know the results. And the third part is new results, totally new. But do you have proofs for those results? So he arranges for his uh, uh, tour to England and uh, makes arrangement for his study in England, Hardy. And he arranges for uh, uh, a stipend also. He gets a special scholarship from Board of Studies of University of Madras. Now Board of Studies of Madras University broadly says Raman Ramanujan was our student. Now, say, this is what many of our teachers know. Even now, we have the same pattern. If you are uh, register for PhD every six months, you have to give a progress report. See, when Ramanujan was sent to England, he was asked to give a quarterly report. Yeah. This was the part where most of us, you people also, find it difficult. Okay. For him, it was very difficult to decide whether to go to. He had a very good opportunity. He knew that this is what he actually wanted. But it was very difficult for him to decide for many reasons. The culture where he was living in, he was a pure vegetarian, living in a traditional Brahmin family. And traveling across the sea was banned in those days. You would be outcasted once you travel across the sea. So you have to overcome all those things to reach your goal. So this is what we call in modern business as mind over matter. Hurdles come in a way. Ramanujan must stand as an idol for us, a model for us. But which is your priority, which is your important? So somehow he gets over all these hurdles and decides to travel, knowing fully well that he cannot get the food what he wants. Initially he tells his friend that 
See, in those days, things were not flying, they were sailing. It would take three months to reach England from India. So even his food materials, he wanted to sell, send from India. He tells his friend, once in three months you send the food material, I can live there with the help of those. I can prepare my, cook my food, prepare well. <coughs> The interesting thing is, so next one, yeah. Yeah. now later what he writes to his uh, friend here was, I will come to that later, you stop selling, I have lost the taste by, for my food, I can eat anything, I have no taste because he has developed it actual taste for his work, mathematics. So, other things became immaterial for him. He failed in his first degree BA, but Madras University awarded him scholarship to study in Cambridge as a private candidate. So this was the courage and conviction of uh, Ramchandra Rao and uh, Sheshu Ayer. This is the ship supposed to now carry Ramanujan to England. Next one. This is the college where he studied. The next one. So initially he asked for food, then now he says, uh, future I am not in need of anything as I gained control over my taste. Not that I have lost my taste, I have gained control over my taste. Now actually he was living uh, with that rice and lemon juice. He would mix the lemon juice, salt, and mixed with rice and he was doing that. And because of malnutrition only, his health deteriorates. This was what later diagnosed. Next one. Already, he writes to the register of University of Madras. Ramanujan is beyond question the best Indian mathematician of modern times. He will always be rather eccentric in his choice of subjects, methods of dealing with them, proving them. But of his extraordinary gifts, there can be no question in some ways he is the most remarkable mathematician, mathematician I have ever known. These are the contributions of Ramanujan where his work and he has directly contributed. Modern mathematics depends on this. Even the present uh, communication system mainly data science and uh, cryptography they are highly dependent on the part of mathematics for which mathematics for which Ramanujan has a great foundation. So analytical number theory we used in electronic electronics. Combinatorial analysis is used for the data science and cryptography. These modular equations, this is where that uh, mock theta comes, they are now identified as uh, modular functions. I initially they were called as false theta functions, then mock theta functions. For different values of n, there are different such functions. Ramanujan initially started working on this. This is the one which was being used now to predict what is happening around the black holes. Next. The most reputed 
paper, highly composite numbers, which was appeared in the Journal of London Mathematical Society. This was his first definition. He was able to identify the numbers in his own way. We now say prime numbers and composite numbers. If the number is not a prime, then it is a composite. But what are the different types of composite numbers? Highly composite number. So again he distinguishes them. Okay. So if you say 6 can be written as product of 2 and 3. 9 is another composite number which comes later to 6. But it is using only one prime number. So all of a sudden you get a composite number which uses maximum number of prime numbers in its uh, uh, product. So they are called highly composite numbers. Unusual jump. So this was his first finding and he works on that. So a page, it was a 62 page paper. The longest paper. They cut down the paper and they have published this. He had contributed to 21 research papers with his mentor Hardy. And chapters what we call as chapters now, there were five short notes. They have been recorded in the records of proceedings of London Mathematical Society. Okay. These are all officially published ones. Most of his results which were not published, he was writing in a notebook. Those notebooks, they were in a trunk. And it was there in the same college, where in the same department where he was working. Hardy was his mentor, but he was working in a department. Ramanujan was working in a department. There was a head of the department there. These were the property of that department. So, what happens was, the person who, after Ramanujan died, who was the head of the department, he was not able to understand about these words. He could understand few things. Many of them he has published in his name. Thinking that Ramanujan is no more. So, initially many of the works were published in his name. Later, the next one who comes in the hierarchy, that is what that was added to, who brought out whole book and he has come out with the results what Ramanujan said with proof and without proof in the form of lost notes book of Ramanujan. Next one. So these are the published ones. Collected papers, the published ones, published by Cambridge University. Yeah. The Watson Watson was the one uh, who was in charge of the department and after Ramanujan left, he published many of his work, mainly originated from Ramanujan's work, which were written by Ramanujan and were there in the department. Next one. This is what I already said. Next one. This is when Ramanujan was awarded with the fellow. He was given scholarship two times. In 1914, he was given a scholarship for four years. And once he got admitted, later he was awarded fellow of the department. And 1918, he was awarded second time. But by then he was ill. He comes back to India. Then this was when he was awarded a BA in research in 1916. These are the papers. See, modular equations and approximation to pi. Next one. So these are the published papers. Next one.
Most of his work were on uh, infinite series. Almost all. Next one. In 1919 onwards, his papers were published in Journal of Indian Mathematical Society. The year when he comes back to India. This is, these are the papers with hard. says about Ramanujan and his work. He says it is extraordinary insight and ingenuity which he has shown in treating this. Next one. This is a progress report. See, this also says that in those days when he was there in England, there were other Indian mathematicians working. It says, number of whom have come from, come to Cambridge from India and attained high academic distinctions. But all of them will recognize Ramanujan as a, Ramanujan's work as a, of a different category. This was when he was admitted in England and he was diagnosed with the blood poison and the level of which had to be controlled and later once it was under control he was discharged. During this time Hardy visits the hospital. The Famous number story comes during that time. See, his temperature has ceased to be irregular and he has gained nearly stone 87 in weight, so he is recovering. Consensus of medical opinion is that he has been suffering from some obscure source of blood poison. Shocked. He was thinking that Ramanujan is recovering well in India. Famous 1729 number. These are all internet images. I don't know how far we can trust them. Next one. Yeah, he comes back to India. Actually, he should have been there for eight years. After five years, because of his illness, so he takes a break and comes back, thinking that he can go back again to England. Thin, pale. MSH, next one, yeah. Next one. So this is a certificate for a candidate for election. Next one. Uh, this is what he said about. There was no communication between Hardy and Ramanujan after Hardy, uh, Ramanujan leaves for India. Uh, so during this time Hardy was thinking that he is uh, recovering and doing his work. In fact he was doing his work. His papers were being published and in January 20, 1920 January, he writes a letter to Hardy. And there is the same letter he says about the Mokthita function. 
and in uh, April he dies. Next one. Yeah. This is one. There are several such uh, sequences. This is one of those. Uh, you people, mathematics students can easily understand this. How the progression takes place. Okay. What is pi of q? It goes on increasing. So he sends this to Hardy. He writes the letter to Hardy. Next one. Yeah. More of these were discovered later in the last notebook of Ramanujan. He was continuing his work which he had left in England. Those books were there in England. And people believe that there were few more books in India after he came here, he was writing and those books are not yet recovered. They think that it's totally lost. It can't be recovered. Because in England, it was there in the Department of Mathematics. Next one. So this is what G.H. Hardy says about Ramanujan. Uh, it is at any rate beyond that of any mathematician in the world, it was impossible to ask such a man to submit to systematic instruction. You go by this way, this is how you have to present, this is the one you have to follow. So you don't ask him, you cannot ask him, it was beyond all those. He was giving his own way of proofs. Yeah, he died in, on 26th of April, 20th. Next. Uh, this was Watson, then uh, they, they were with him. He was working with them. Next one. Yeah, this was published later by Andrews, as I said. Next one. So what Hardy uh, expresses his grief, his uh, short lifespan and mathematicians are going together. Abel died at uh, 27, Ramanujan at 32, Riman at 40. So I do not know an instant of a major mathematical advance initiated by a man past 50. Next one. Yeah, what Janaki says, she hardly finds, uh, found any happy time with Ramanujan. Yeah. Uh, when she got married, she was just uh, 7 or 8 years old. And he was 22, and at the age of 25, he leaves for uh, England. Then when he comes back, he was uh, ill. And still she considers it was uh, my, I was fortunate to give him rice, lemon juice, buttermilk, etc. Two vessels I still preserve. Next one. So this was just before his return to India. He writes the letter to Madras. He says whatever money is left over in my scholarship, he arranges like a will as an endowment. Okay. Previous, yeah, he says uh, he wants to spend it, say, after all expenses which are uh, met my me and the leftover should be given to educational purpose to meet the reduction of school fees for poor boys and orphans and provide them with the books in the schools. Next one. Yeah. 
these are the things not of Ramanujan, these are about Ramanujan. We have seen what Ramanujan has published, what Ramanujan and Hadi has published, now what others have published. Even you have seen, seen a movie now about Ramanujan. Ramanujan, an inspiration, Mamaru number. Even now there are institutes, in fact there is a Indian, there is a mathematical society named after Ramanujan Mathematical Society, RMS, one of the leading mathematical society in India. Next one. Next one. Yeah. Yeah, I stop here. Infinity. You can watch it, you'll be interested in his life even more. So, um, it was a very resourceful talk, sir. I now request Ms. Priya, HOD of my department, to present a memento to Dr. Raghavinda Ray. by the chief guest again. So everyone can you take 10 minutes break and be back again. Thank you. You want Anmol? Anmol, you want to play the ad on the stream? You want to play the ad on the stream? Pause the stream, the ad on the stream. Yes, that would be nice. That would be nice. Pass the video file for you. Can you go access the keyboard? No. Yeah, that's better. Nah, if it's shown there itself. Yeah. We'll show on audio. You can hear people walking. Okay. No, no, no. no, no. Uh, right now we're just showing the mask here stuff. Okay. Okay. You can see what's being shown. No audio. No audio. I removed audio.
We log in when you log out. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. 
Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. 
टेक चार्ज ऑफ योर हेल्थ विद के एम सी हॉस्पिटल लाइफ ऑन वी लॉग इन वेन यू लॉग आउट नाउ टेक चार्ज ऑफ योर हेल्थ इवन इफ यू आर बिजी थ्रू आउट द डे से गुड बाय टू एलिमेंट्स इंट्रोड्यूसिंग वी लॉग इन वेन यू लॉग आउट 
Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the Evening Clinic by KMC Hospital. Shall I begin? Wait, just show me the laptop. Just a moment, sir. Show the laptop. I can't turn it. Show me, show me, show me. Good thing it's saved, right? Good thing it's saved. Okay, just look at the camera output. Camera output, camera output. Okay. Just tell me how much. It's too much. Stand up and zoom it. Stand up and zoom it. Is it okay? Can you check this? It's still 10. Yes. Now, wait the fuck is it shooting? Okay, okay. Sir. What up? Uh, it's up. Down, down, down. 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 Down, down, in case you have any clarity, uh, it's a bit tilted. Two aspects here. One is why be a suit? What is up to the suit? No. What do you do? Focusing mainly on parents and students who are in the 11th to 12th standard. Also, those who are doing PSU now. Pursuing PSU. What are the things other than your traditional engineering, medical, uh, veterinary science, dental, other things what you can do? Why should I do BSc? What is the advantage doing BSc? And after BSc, what can I do? A lot of opportunities. Government model goes. In other states it may differ. There is a scope for studying only one subject in BSc also. It may be modeled for some other states. See, maybe you can take up physics and mathematics for next three to four years. 
after one year you can discontinue, you will get a certificate. You can start fresh again or you can move to some other branch. After two years you will get a diploma. After three years you will get degree. After four years you will get honours degree. In these four years, the first two years, you will be studying some compulsory papers like languages, then cross-cutting issues, gender equity, constitution of India. These are all common in all universities throughout India. Then in third year and fourth year, you will be selecting the papers which you want to study further. And fourth year will be mainly research oriented. So after three years, you can discontinue, join some other institute for higher studies at national level. If you continue for fourth year, you will get BSc honors and you will have only one year for masters. That's the advantage. You will not be losing or spending one more year in BSc. After four years, you can directly go for PhD also. The last two years, you will be appearing for different entrance examinations for higher studies in different institutes. Maybe it is from physics or mathematics, chemistry, computer science, statistics, botany, zoology, microbiology, what not only BSc, even in human uh, social science, humanities. The model is same. So what if you do BSc? So there are several scholarships only for BSc, mainly one of them very important is the Inspire Scholarship, which will provide you at least 5,000 per month. And this scholarship will continue till your PhD in case you want to pursue. How to get this scholarship? You should be selecting BSc and you should be standing in top 1% of any of the state level or national level examinations. Like in PUC if you score say about 96% in PUC. Maybe in Karnataka government you are in the top 1%. Likewise CBSC, ICSC. Even if you get a good seat rank which comes within top 1% of achievers or IIT, JE main examination, the advanced examination, any one of them or any other such examination, if you fall in the top 1%, then you are eligible to get. This will be given by Government of India. Similar scholarship is also available under the name KVPY, Kishore Vijnan Prosa Yojana. Scheme and everything is same, but they are conducting their own examination. But now, this year onwards, they are discontinuing, they will be merging it with the Inspire Scholarship. As long as you keep your track record clean, you will continue to get this scholarship of 5,000 a month. Along with that, every year, you will get a special grant of 20,000 to do some research in recognized research centers. So if you are studying in Sinovarshis College, in Sinovarshis College, if they have a research center in say mathematics, you can do some work there, produce some work, and you, the college, the department will get 20,000, and that much, that money can be spent by you for your research work. So that's the advantage. And if you want to do PhD later, you will get 30,000 per month under this scheme. So 
uh, that is what I said about the Inspire program. Likewise, you have other scholarships. So KVPY is uh, now being discontinued. Indira Gandhi Special Scholarship for Single Girl Child. Then after BSc, in BSc, if you get a rank, university rank, you will get postgraduate merit scholarship to do your post-graduation. Then human scient uh, women scientist scheme. Uh, MTTS is a, a program, not a scholarship. I'll tell you about that. Then Dr. K. S. Christian Research Associateship. These are all decide what we are uh, having is they are all programs. Other side is a scholarship. What about these programs? These are all training programs at national level which can be proudly included in your CV. If you attend one of these, in future you can include them. I was a student for this program. I attended MPTS core level. MPTS is Mathematics Talent uh, Training and Talent Search. Likewise, there are summer research fellowships available. We have got science academies under Science and Technology Department of Government of India. These science academies, they provide scholarships for the students who wants to do research during their summer vacation. These research are organized in national level institutes like Indian Institute of Science, you might have heard, IITs, then IISER, Indian Institute for Science Education and Research, NICER, National Institute for Science Education and Research, then some of the central universities, Tata Fundamental Research Institute, so Institute of National Repute, you can do research under recognized or well-known guides. This will pay you at student level itself. If you do this, two advantage. One is your CV will be improved. Second thing is you get to know about your field of interest and if the if you can insp inspire your guide there when you are doing summer research. Later, they can ask you to join them for your future students. It's like a small ladder, just to go through and peep in. Next one. What are the employment opportunities we have? See, we have got IT sectors which are grouping in candidates from engineering colleges. Similarly, they are grouping in candidates from BSc also, including biological sciences. Wipro is a leading giant among them. They have a very innovative program Wipro Vista and Wipro Ways program. You can Google these words, you will get to know the details. Immediately after three years of your study, they will absorb you as their employers. They will pay you monthly. They will train you. They will assign you the job. At the weekends, they will provide you education you will be registering for master's degree when you are doing your job in institutes like Vellore Institute of Technology or Shastra University. So, recognized universities after four years or after three years depending on the program you will be awarded master's degree advantage by then, you will have experience of 3 to 4 years. You will have also your salary there, no expenditure. Your course will be free. Master's degree course will be free for you. 
and immediately after the completion, the Wipro, even see these, prog these programs are now being organized by three major companies, Wipro, TCS, Tech Mahindra. Others are doing it but not in a rigorous manner. TCS has a program called TCS Ignite. You just Google the word TCS Ignite. The method of getting into, they vary. Wipro selects coming to the campus and doing placement work there. TCS selects through internet, uh, online uh, projects. It gives you a project to complete in a year. If you complete, if you come up to their expectation, by the end of last year, final year, they will give you, offer you a letter. In between, Infosys has got its own way of attracting the youth. That is, uh, you go through the Infosys website, they have got a training program. A training program wherein any graduate, not necessarily science graduate, even commerce graduate can also register. They will give you online training. If you do well in the online training, immediately after completion of your degree, you will get a job. There is no uh, scope for higher studies. If you want to go for higher studies, you have to follow other methods. These are the opportunities. But do they take as many candidates as engineering colleges? Do they absorb? This is a major question. Then you have to ask the question, which engineering college? See, placement is not the same in all engineering colleges. Some of the very good colleges like Surat, NITK, Surat, IITs, PESET, BMS, these, they give opportunity for students. So because of the caliber of students, there will be very good placements. Almost say 70 to 80 percent of the student. But in BSc also, about 20 percent. And if you are in computer science branch, almost we can say 100 percent. In some of the colleges, we have witnessed almost everyone getting, provided they are good. See, 100 percent doesn't mean that you get into computer science and you get a job. No. But you should show good academic standards. That is a must. Throughout 80 percent, 75 percent, 80 percent, and appearing for their entrance examination. They, they, thing is, they don't get good candidates. That's the problem. Not that there is no job. It is not that they don't want to absorb you. They want to absorb you. Each college, they get some 8, 10, 20 students. There is a difference. So this is one area where students compare and say, oh, that's not good. Salary you have to ask after one year of your job, what salary you will get. Okay. Engineering student may be absorbed at the scale of say 28,000 to 30,000. BSc graduate will be absorbed at the scale of 30, 23 to 28. So about 5 to 10,000 difference will be there initially. But after one year, it is your performance which matters. So no comparison with your degree. There is no, absolutely no comparison with your degree. It is the domain knowledge what you have there, which area of work you are expert in, that matters. This is where that Wipro program has an edge. Okay. The students who have gone through this program, they share their experience that after till four years, even if there is a lot of ups and downs, no pink slip will be given. Whereas these engineering students, they join in the uh, pro, they are always in tenderhooks, whether my job will be there tomorrow or not. But at least four years you will be safe under the pro based program. Second thing, promotion. 
to get promoted to next level they have to strive hard for 5 years but whereas if you join Vipro waste program after 4 years it is a guaranteed promotion we have I know a student uh, now almost 10 years of the completing his BSc now he is a data scientist that's why I said keep your passion close to your heart he was interested in mathematics, but because of his family background, he was forced to join the pro program. Now he is a data scientist in Ireland, earning about 5 to 6 lakhs a month in Indian rupees. These are all possibilities. Best part of it is, you will get the opportunity to do work in research and development. That's what our what the principal said. The research and development. Okay. This is one where you never get bored till you die. There was a giant personality in Father Leo Master was here. Leo Disoza here, he was sitting here, 90 years old. Okay. When I was a student here, he was a scientist here. He started work in uh, tissue culture. See, that keeps him alive. So this part, every human being, if you are really interested in doing this research, okay, you can continue to do research till you are dead. Yeah. Now, you have got a freedom to change. This is one more advantage. In the new education policy, they have added a few more muscles to this. After one year, if you see, see if you find that this is not good for me, you can shift. Second year, wherever it is possible. You will get a certificate of one year. Certificate in science. After three years of BSc, you can join MBA. You can do MA English. You can do MA Canada. You can do MA Journalism. MSc Journalism. Psychology, what not. Every other aspect, if you want to change, there is a there is a possibility here. Moreover, see initially when you are at the end of 12th standard, you may not be knowing should I choose mathematics, should I choose chemistry, should I choose uh, physics or biology, botany, zoology. See, there is a possibility of choosing even after two years. In the third year of BSc, you can choose. After two years of study, you will decide whether physics is good or chemistry is good. Third year, you can change from physics to chemistry, chemistry to physics. Many of our students, they join with a lot of interest in chemistry. After listening in the BSc classes to the lecturers, they get to inspire, they become mathematicians, they become physicists. So this is a possibility. Because really we will not be knowing at this age, you listen to others' experience. You won't have your own experience. Next one. Yeah. The possible employ employability in different sectors, educational issues, as starting from lab attenders, sorry, lab assistants. Remuneration will be good. Not only your college lab, it may be pharmaceutical lab, it may be medical college lab. Okay. The work will be decent enough to lead one's life. Recently, last year and this year again, we had the demand of a lab assistant for a firm. They wanted a student with the chemistry. And we Fail to form one. For one month, I send all my old students, even if you have already done BSc and uh, sitting at home, even at one year since you are idle, you apply. But I didn't find anyone. So this is boldly I can say, you cannot find a BSc graduate unemployed.
because that much of opportunities, you ask these people, they don't find basic graduates. Hospitals, healthcare centers, pharmaceuticals, environmental management consortiums, forensic crime research. See, these are the last few where you get expertise. If you work there after BS, you get expertise. NEP will provide you to get your future degree online. Once you become expert in a particular field, if you want to add to your CV, just BSc may not be enough, then you can put one more degree. There is a provision. Opportunities are there. Just by your experience, you can get some of the degrees. Like you have got MBA, Executive MBA. Entry level, you should have four years of experience, industrial experience. Then only you will be getting into that MBA. It will be one year MBA. But that will be given as executive MBA. So entry level you should have experience. Your experience itself is your subject. So this is possible in these areas. See forest services, many of our students here and around, they do not know. Okay, you can become forest officers, very adventurous job. You have to only clear entrance examination after this. A good government job. Next one. Yeah. This is one of the most attractive uh, part. This is impact for all, but ideally suited for BSc graduates. Now you are in 10th, 11th standard or 12th standard. Now you can try this. IIT Madras and IIT Karakpur have come out with a similar program. IIT Madras has already started and this is a third year running, successful running because the impact factor is that much. You know, they are training more than 10,000 per year. What is it about? See, when you are in 12th standard, you log into this portal, register there, they will train you for about a month or so, then they will conduct a test, they will select you. You don't have to join. So they have a program called BSc Data Science Program, which will be offered to only those who are doing degree. Maybe it is engineering degree or BSc degree or become degree. Okay. Similar to NEP, if you discontinue after one year, you will get a certificate. After two years, you will get a diploma. After three years, you will get a BS. Say, if you have joined BSc in Alashas College, you have cleared the test year, you are joining them, you have to pay a fees there. Fees is quite high because of the standard. Okay. You will get the projects there, which are all industry oriented projects. Once you complete three years, you will get BSc from St. Aloysius College, you will get BSc from IIT Madras, both. <coughs> there will be two BSCs. You have to study only one paper, one subject. One paper means one subject. So this goes like this. So you have languages, common, cross-cutting subjects, common, then say physics, mathematics, computer science, you are studying here in BSc. All those credits will be considered. Okay, some six, 70 credits are taken from your degree here, St. Aloysius College. They offer another 30 degree. Adding them, they make 100 degree, 100 credit course, BSc Mathematics. So this is how it works. This can be done by engineering students also. There are many. And I know one of the aspirant who has completed engineering who wanted to join Indian Institute of Management, cleared CAT examination. He was about to get very good college among top 50, but he rejected all of them and he is doing this thing. So this advantage is you don't lose other than money. If you don't do well, your fees may be a loss. 
but you don't lose your other degree in Aloysius College or any other college, you continue. If you complete one year by struggle, maybe you find it difficult, leave it there. After BSc, when you are doing the job or any other course, continue the second year. That is the flexibility you have here. Yeah, next one. Same thing what I said. Now, which one to choose? Whether BSc or engineer? Next. Yeah. What is the advantage? You will find many courses to choose from depending on your interests and your future goals. These courses are specific to your interest. That's the advantage. Along with BSc, you can also continue to study maybe music or dance. NEP offers scope for getting degree there also. Formalizing your music interest. Next one. Then again, money matters. Next one. Next one. What is after BSc? So if I do BSc, what are the things I can do after BSc? Depending on the subjects you have chosen. You can go for higher studies, you can choose a job, or you can do both of them together. Next one. Yeah. If you want to do higher studies, yeah. you can do MSc or integrated PhD. You can answer national level examination. There is an examination called Joint Admission for Masters. Okay. You can get into IITs for your master degree. Even if you have failed to do, get to BTEC in IIT, you can continue to do. You will be IIT alumnus. Or some of the NITs, they offer MSCs, not only in mathematics, in all science fields, there are MSCs. Some of central universities, like you have Hyderabad University, then QSAT at Cochin, they are all national level institutes. 100% placement guarantee. So institutes of that caliber. So you can get into them after your PhD. So by then you will be much mature. You will be knowing how to answer this examination. Only thing is, the three years of PSC, you should study the subjects very well, listen in the class, then prepare yourself for answering the entrance examination. It is much easier than answering your CE. And if you want to go abroad, only these are the names which are having weightages, you can easily get into after your degree. Indian Institute of Science, IITs, NITs, Central Universities, some of the state universities of very repute, very good repute. Then colleges like Central Russia's College, which are known, having a long history. Okay? My father studied here, my grandfather studied here. Even if you go to US, you will find okay, there are alumni of alumni of Central Russia's College. They will easily recognize you. So there are colleges like this. So there is a choice of choosing your masters here. You can easily Google these and get this information. Then after masters, okay? after masters, there are again qualifying examination at state level and national level, eligibility examinations. If you clear, if you are an Inspire Scholar, you will get scholarship for all this, even for PhD. And after Masters, you can answer National Eligibility Test for Lecturership. There is what is called as CSIR, which will provide you scholarship equivalent to salary of a lecturer. 
in reputed institutes. I am very proud to say one of our students is passed out in 2019. He has cleared almost all examination in mathematics, including CSIR, which you will be writing after your MSc. He cleared after his BS. So he is saying that it is not beyond, don't say it is impossible or very difficult. It is possible. Now he is doing his integrated PhD of the top mathematical institute at Chennai, Indian Institute for Mathematical Sciences. Not only that, we have got institute like Indian Institute for this is another area where government of India thought of like IITs, they wanted to improve basic science, they started Indian Institute for Science, Education and Research. We have got ISER, Pune leading, ISER, Trivandrum, ISER, Bhopal, likewise you have got eight or nine ISERs, recently they started to either, I don't know whether they have started as such. So these are started with good seed money, good infrastructure and they have their own way of function. So unlike our traditional masters, if you do masters here, you don't have to worry about your future. You will have scope for research, you will have scope for doing teaching job, you will have industrial opportunities also. Many of the projects what they do in ISA are directly given by industries. Industry themselves give the project, themselves will supervise the projects here. So if you do well there, you will be absorbed directly as a director of that R&D of that particular industry. So these are the avenues you find in master's degree. For that you should have a BSc. So any BSc will do. If you get BSc, see you have BSc programs in Indian Institute of Science. You have those who are in first year PUC can start trying for that now. Second year PUC is too late. You are trying. They are see they are opted before IITs. Remember Indian Institute of Science BSCs. They are opted by students before they offer. IIT. When they give preference to Indian Institute of Science, then IITs. Even if you score 400, 500 ranked IIT, there are students who have gave up IITs and they have joined Indian Institute of Science. That is the case for pure science. You have got BSc programs in ISAID, you have got BSc program in National Institute for Science, Education and Research in ISAID at Alaba. And now they have permitted engineering colleges to have these science programs. So in so soon you may find Suratkal may also have a BSc. NIT Suratkal may also have a BSc. Without any scope, why do you think they will start this? Because the demand is that much. They are not getting good people there. Maybe these are the, I can leave the PPT here if you want to share later, uh, the things where you can do MSc, where you can do PhD, how exactly. At this juncture, I will stop. If you have any questions to ask, in particular, I try to ask. So can we uh, can we pursue M Tech after four year PhD? 
very genuine question. Thing is, why M-Tech? What is the advantage of having M-Tech? Why not MS? What is the difference? See, ultimately, it becomes content of the course. Okay? It depends on which university is offering. Should you have BSc? Or should you have BE? You might have heard about Indian Institute of uh, Indian Statistical Institute, ISI. Head office at uh, Kolkata. They have center at uh, Bangalore. They are offering BSc in Mathematics, BMAT. They are also having MSc Maths. In Physics they are having. They are also offering, as you said, MTech in mainly subjects related to Mathematics, Statistics, Computer Science. One of the largest producer of scientists in this field is that, MTech. And basic requirement is BSc, MSc. Even BE can try, but they mostly absorb students with BSc, MSc. You can do. Now, only thing is, in the new MEP, there is a four-year BS. They have to amend their act to absorb four-year BSc students. Otherwise, they are absorbing after five years. Hope I have answered. See, likewise, you have Chennai Mathematical Institute, a private entity competing with the IITs, attracting students for its BSc program. If you have heard about CMI, very good, otherwise Google CMI, Chennai Mathematical Institute, they are offering degree both in mathematics and physics. Both bachelor degree and master's degree. Most of the CMI graduates are moving to European laboratories for their PhD directly. That is the strength of the course. Yeah, sir, I have one doubt that uh, to go for uh, IAS and uh, Indian Institute of Science and all, it is better to attend just or gate exam. After your mas uh, masters, if you want to answer that just or gate. So do you want to enter into Indian Institute of Science for your master's degree or your bachelor degree? First question. For bachelor degree, they have considering, they are considering JE main, JE advanced score. Earlier they were considering KVPY till last year. Now for their MS program, they have MS program, they are considering gate examination and just examination, both. If you score, get a good rank within 100 in GATE, you will get a MS degree in Indian Institute of Science. Which is harder? Means just is harder or GATE is harder? Uh, it depends on the subject. GATE is mainly for uh, engineering subjects. Even for science, there, is, there are people, my experience, I have seen students who have done MSc and cleared net examination, but they have not cleared get examination. That doesn't mean get is difficult. It is the area of questions where they are asking. See, if you say MSc Mathematics, you may find that it is just only Mathematics, but there again, the entire MSc Mathematics, we have got algebra, again analysis, then other things. So, which area, which are the papers you have studied, you are expert in? If you get questions from that, 
That is why hearing net examination, gate examination in pure science is very difficult. In fact, hearing CSIR and gate examination, CSIR, that is net and CSIR is difficult. Just examination is meant for admission. Whereas gate examination is meant for both admission for institutions as well as for jobs. Almost all government of India posts in science related fields, they consider your gate score for employment. That is why there is a huge rush. That is why the standard is little higher. Fifth year will be going to 
maybe national level institutes, IITs. So only one year of extra expenditure. So certainly expenditure will be more, financial aspect and all. After BSc, if you are going, okay, two years off. And depending on where you are doing that BSc, that also matters. Whether you will get advantage with that four year is one more. After three years, you will be eligible to answer many of the jobs. Like uh, the largest employer is uh, banking sector, where you can answer their examination only after completion of your degree. So that one year, when you are answering, you can do the fourth year of your PS. And if you fail there, if you succeed here, if you succeed there, fail here, nothing to lose. You will be getting one. That's the advantage. And for students who will be aiming for masters in some of the reputed institutes, say after BCom mainly, if you want to get into top management schools, students will be trying for two, three years. They get coaching, they try again and again. Even after three years, if they get, they will join. They don't mind losing two, three years. There are students. That culture is not much here. But there are students who will be aspiring for only management degree in reputed institutes. See, for them this is a boon. Meanwhile, they can do their fourth year honors. Yeah, sir. One more question for from uh, It is better to do MSc or integrated PhD. Means, uh, uh, MSc in uh, IASC or integrated PhD. Good. Uh, see, this question should be like this. If I get in IIT Madras MSc and integrated PhD, which one shall I do? If you get MSc in Mangalore University, integrated PhD in the Bangalore University, which is good, that depends on which university. So this comparison should be about the course, about the institute. Advantage with integrated PhD that you will be sure about your PhD. After MSc, you have to again try for PhD if you want. But if you join integrated PhD, even in the Indian Institute of Science, they have a provision, they will give you master's degree after two years if you live in the so you will not lose your MSc degree. This is the provision. They will ask you to answer some examination. They will convert your integrated PhD into MSc and do I will with it. Math Fiesta 2K22 We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Now we have words from our sponsors. Math Fiesta 2K22. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health, even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to him. Math Fiesta 2K22. The evening clinic by We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health, even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to him. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience.
Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. Math Fiesta 2K22. Log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy to our Say goodbye to Amos. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to Amos. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. Math Fiesta 2K22. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. And have lunch served in the third floor. Participants of the events, please note you are requested to go to your respective venues after the lunch. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to anyone. Introducing the evening cleaning by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. Already motion, already motion. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. Math Fiesta 2K22. We log in when you log out. Now take charge of your health even if you are busy throughout the day. Say goodbye to ailments. Introducing the evening clinic by KMC Hospital. Visit the doctor at your own convenience. Let us help you prioritize your health seamlessly. Here's a list of our specialities. Click a picture if you may. Take charge of your health with KMC Hospital. Life's on. Once you are done scanning the code, kindly go and have your lunch. All events will commence exactly at 1.45. So be in the venues that are allotted to the events. The event venues are being read out by Anisha, who is event coordinator. These are the events.
uh, these are venues for the events. Steeple Chase, 801 Arupi Block. Epic Escapade, 604 Xavier Block. Don Quixote, Eric Mathias Hall, Mafi Block. Mark Pirates, Robert Sequera Hall, which is right next to this hall. Cypher Train will be held tomorrow. Thank you.